turn down there to do some kind of reinforcement. And only tanks right now. Thorzane is actually not going to take the opportunity to try to do some sort of crushing center push. In the meantime, we also see that the upgrades for Thorzane getting quite a bit of a lead. There is the plus one armor going down for vehicle weapons. We even see all these barracks in insane production mode, now adding on more turrets to the back. Select is actually behind on upgrades. We can see up at the production tab, the red player select behind on all fronts. Yeah, um, I mean, the, it, we're about to see 2-2 two, two pop for both of these. Actually, weapons for Thorzade's bio is complete. And over on the other side, not quite yet for Select. In fact, he has not even, uh, it's uh, about halfway done right now. And uh, on the Siege Tanks, no upgrades, but Thorzade at plus one. And considering that he does have the tank advantage right now, 23 uh -oh. tanks to 17. Here we go, the battle's going to commence. And here comes the Siege Tank line from Thorzane. Select is not going to engage, he's going to pull back, try to just cut down on the Marine numbers of Thorzane. But again, the south area is where those players are really contending to hold. You see a lot of command centers going down for Select. He actually had a huge lead in SCVs, 81. He's going to try to replace all those SCVs with uh, mules to try to make up for that food deficit. There's some more rescanning going on. Thorzane looks like he's really wanting to try to gun for that south side. And he is going to move over. A lot of tanks. Big volleys coming out. One tank already lost. Two tank already lost. The Marines trying to move over as well. Oh, what the what high doing. ground! Oh! The high ground tanks doing a huge amount of damage while only a few from this uh, right in front of the gold are actually attacking. He also moved his Marines down there. And so that was actually a great battle there for Select kind of minimizing his own losses there and he's going to go in yet again. Marines will move forward and he might go in big on this one but he does decide to bring it back. He's trying to bait out some more Marines, take out as many tanks as he possibly can and actually Thorzane behind momentarily in the supply there but uh, the tank uh, number still in favor of Thorzane. Oh and Thorzane oh. moving in through the north trying to find any opportunity he can and there is the big one now printing in but it looks like the tank count and the marine count eaten up. Now Select pulling everything back, trying to go for some sort of defensive here, picking off these Vikings in the air. More tanks on the high ground, just saving Select in these awkward spots. More marines rushing in for Thorzane, but can he end up breaking through? This is such a tense position, and these five orbital commands from Select are going to be huge in terms of letting him try to waste some of those SCVs, make up for that food with more units, and get in a better position. Right now, these Vikings doing considerable damage to the medevacs. Going to have one siege tank go down yet again, but Select trying to hold on to this line. He's trying to get his other expansions up as well, and it looks like Thorzane's going to move over on the left side. Stimming, going in with his Marines. He's going to get us around, takes out nearly all the Marines of Select, works on those two tanks, and now he's getting dangerously close to his opponent's gold. He might be able to swing in here. If he can contain this small area, it means he'll have access to the lower expansions of Select as well. But these two high ground siege tanks still doing an enormous job up there. But some quick volleys and a scan will take those out. And Select is being picked away piece by piece. Thorzane just hurling units at Select, trying to break through somewhere. The center tank line has been completely evaporated, but Thorzane Holy macro, Batman! Look at how many barracks there are out here, just flooding with units. There's very little Select can do. He has to just hope that his siege tanks can hold on just a little bit longer, and it looks like, oh no! Tanks uh -huh. sneaking in through the south side. Oh, this is going to be big. He's going to be able to get in with range of this planetary. It is not mining yet, but it will be a crucial one. And we are going to have a more Marines move in here, but the tanks will quickly take care of this right now. All the medevacs of Select might go down as well if these Vikings do choose to go ahead and chase, but the tanks down below are going to manage to siege down that planetary. It will be gone, and actually, well, there it goes down. We do see more units streaming in here. Unfortunately, another bad rally here from Thorzane. We'll see some units uh, get taken out by the high ground siege tanks there. Thorzane has these back four siege tanks. That's going to be tough to take out without taking uh, damage as well. See another uh, orbital command going down. Now Select actually has a ton of orbitals. It's going to be the king of fueling. Now stimming to try to pick these off. Will he lose too many Marines? It looks like no. Select does a brilliant job of cleaning that up and has resecured the south. But can this push by Thorzane work through? 
Oh, he's going to come right into the siege line. No siege tank from Thorze. He's going to move forward with these Marines. Oh, that is very so low. Wrecked. He does it. He do oh, there's one more siege tank left. All the Marines are gone, but he's got another force moving in here from his natural. Select, who's been defending all game long, finally making the first push of his own. Thorze does not have any tanks in the middle. We see Select sieging up, trying to get into a good position, but it might be a little too soon. Yes, he's losing a lot of tanks here. Maybe he put, oh no, and now on the retreat. Maybe overextending himself with too much. SCVs are coming out to help in the battle or get the repair. And he had a distinct advantage there momentarily. Unfortunately, it slipped right out of his hands. And now we are back to square one. But Thorzane already with an upper hand here. A lot of tanks, a lot of Marines. He knows he just eliminated a lot of units and it could be going in for the jugular here. And here comes the SCVs now trying to dart in, actually doing a phenomenal job of absorbing damage. Damage, but just a few too many tanks from Thor's ain't select cannot get into a good position the SCVs starting to clean up these Vikings have now land and it looks like oh very nice lift there by select again these players just trading armies keep in mind though select has not even begun mining the south expansion so if he can maintain and even hold and just continue to trade armies Thor's aim will run out of money sooner yeah, the gold is a nearly done now. Thorzane with just a few Marines and some tanks heading on over here uh, to the grassy area as uh, just seeing Select try to regain some composure here in the middle. Well, the unit counting station shows us that the marine counts very very close the tank counts very very close and these battles are really coming down to a lot of control positioning and whether or not these players are sieged up or not and have multiple volleys coming out from the siege tanks Thorzane's being very very smart about where he's selectively choosing to attack and uh, he keeps on moving back and forth of course that makes select reposition and that's always a bad thing but Thorzane has a lot of units here uh-oh, it's looking like no more high ground siege tanks. Again, we're starting to get into a little bit of a stale situation. We, I just cannot believe that we ended up seeing Select sprint forward a little too early and throw away that 30-foot yeah. lead. And oh no, it looks like Select misses the drop coming into his main. And there they stream in outside a range of those sensor towers, dropping there very little that Select can do about it, trying to sprint back with his Marines. But we see Thorzain having a beautiful position in the main. Uh, losing these production facilities is going to absolutely be the worst thing for Select. He has to stim up twice in order to get back there and save it. He's going to get a nice little concave, but look at that. Not even going to be enough to take care of it. Thorzain attacking from the heart of Select's base is still doing damage. It has not been stopped. Or C6 trying to come in. But the siege takes of Thorze completely untouched here. He is doing a ton of damage. Select has been holding on all game long, but Thorze might just finally get on the final edge to break through. Vikings now picking off all the medevacs. Vikings landing, getting ripped apart by the Marines and the tanks. of Thorze in a good GG. game. Thorze wins the extended series four to one. Select is now out of the tournament. Select who's gotten top three in three previous MLG circuit events just doesn't quite have enough to overtake the Swedish powerhouse Thorzain. Really getting to see how Thorzain was able to win that TSL. And it just goes to show, guys, the talent's getting better and better that's showing up here. As you mentioned, Select having some very, very remarkable results here at previous MLG competition. But unfortunately, it just was not his weekend going 0-5 in his championship pool play. Eliminated by Thorzane. At least if you're going to be eliminated and saying that it was by the hands of Thorzane, you could be happy with that because he truly is a remarkable player. However... We cannot talk about the results of that match without talking about that one moment where Select did have a very, very distinct lead after cleaning up the army of Thorzane, decided to push forward, overextending himself, and I just feel like if he yeah. would have held back just to continue to mass up a little bit more, he would have had that army advantage. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, it was that 
such a key moment. Select was ahead 40 food, 160 to 120, and moved out. And it was all tanks. The only way Select was able to hold off so many of those pushes by Thorzane was by, er, was by having more and more tanks in good positions, continue to stockpile them. But without any Marines to support them, he wasn't able to be aggressive. Marines are what will let you do those pushes quickly and aggressively. And if we looked around Select's base, not any barracks with reactors in sight, whereas Thorzane had almost 10 barracks with reactors churning those out. That is why Select was able to really put that pressure on Select. Thorzane had so many barracks. If Select had continued his slow and steady style, continued to make more tanks, more Vikings, catch up and upgrades, he could have taken that game, but either way, it would not have been easy. Thorzane, with a brilliant win, will advance to the round five of the lower bracket. And he is looking like a player who uh, is going to be tough to beat now. I mean, just in the last few games, defeated Idra, mm -hmm. defeated Select. He wants the head of every person who is not uh, a member of Mouse Sports or from yeah. uh, his home country, whether it be Koreans, whether it be the North Americans, or whether it be any other Europeans, Thorzane smelling blood going in for the kills. And I'll tell you what, uh, you might want to start changing your bets there. Put some money on that guy because he is absolutely a top contender. Now, I'm not sure what his next matchup is going to be, but I'm sure that we'll give uh, folks a little preview. Do we have any other results as well? We do in round four, Fanatic Phoenix versus complexity cruncher phoenix wins 2-0 the heroic south american player who's always always showing good results with that aggressive style came in from the open bracket and now it's going to be in round five we are going to see a phoenix versus chef match in the round five of the lower bracket now in liquid tyler against six jacks major major wins 2-1 Major, who came from Mexico, a lot of shock noises coming from the audience. Yeah. A narrow, narrow win for 6 Jacks Major, who is not done with Team Liquid, has to play against Liquid Rhett next round. And as of right now, we do see that Thorzane will move on to compete against EG's Machine in round five. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just to take it one step further, because remember, based off of the seeds, is, is also determines where you are in the rounds, where you come into the championship brackets. Well, you had mentioned that uh, Six Jacks Major was going to have to take on another Liquid member. Yes. But if he does manage to make it all the way to round seven, Six Jacks Major will be able to change his name yet again. It will be Six Jacks Liquid Killer because he's already taken out Tyler. He would have to play Rhett next. And if he were to win that game, he would go on to play Liquid Hey Pro, essentially eliminating the entire Team Liquid team in the process. Now, uh, I mean... It, two very very difficult players to have to go through uh, but major is also one of those players to watch and players to beat here at MLG Columbus and keep in mind there's another couple of funky arrangements in the brackets just based on how things ended up working out we see that in the lower bracket is only Koreans all the Koreans are in the bottom half of the lower bracket so that means guaranteed three foreigners and three Koreans in the top six exciting there's some lot there's a lot of what if matches there that uh, could be really uh, like what if we could see Thorzane MC oh, what yes. if could oh, see yes. show versus Startail July a lot of what ifs here and a lot of great matches coming up here in just a moment some uh, interesting starts here to the morning and we're going to be finishing out the brackets here today and uh, we're going to be crowning a champion here for the second stop of the MLG 2011 Pro Circuit in Columbus and right now, Kawhi Rice is playing against Sho. The winner of that does advance to play against Moon. And I think a lot of people would be excited to see Thorzane advance versus Machine and end up playing against MC again because it would be another extended series. Right. It would be very difficult for Thorzane. He'd have to win four games to advance. MC would only have to win two games. The players at round six, the final bosses of the lower bracket is Slush getting second place in group A, Liquid Hey Pro getting second place in group D, I believe it was, MC uh, getting second place in group C, and Startail July getting second place in group B. Those are the final bosses of the lower bracket. We're still seeing crazy results come out here at MLG Columbus. And don't forget, up in the winner's bracket, all the players who got first place will be duking it out. We're going to see Idra play against uh, MMA, and then we're going to see Lucera against Naniwa. So a TVZ, a TVP, uh, PVZ, 
there's just a lot of different races up in that Man, upper bracket. There, there are. All three of them. There, there are. And you know what? I don't think that that top four could have filled itself out any better. Uh, no matter what the scenario is, you know, whether it's Naniwa, Losira, MMA, or Idra, it is going to make for some phenomenal games there in the upper semifinals of the championship bracket. And then ultimately, who were to win that one? I know that there are a lot of people that are, of course, rooting for the foreigners. A lot of people oh, yeah. that are still rooting for the Koreans. So it's kind of like an everyone wins situation, but uh, very exciting. Very, very exciting. And I did want to note, we keep using this phrase foreigner to describe a whole bunch of people from America. This is actually a carryover from the Brood War days, the StarCraft One days where Korea showed complete and total dominance. And it was the...